All right. So this whole time we've been talking, we've been talking about networking and I've been throwing terms at you. And I, every time I throw a term at you, I try to use the respective layer for it. So you, you've heard me say layer two, layer three, layer four. And those all correspond with what is called the OSI model. Now, if you're ever in a network interview or if you're ever talking to somebody who has experience in networking, or even if you're on the help desk taking tickets, knowing the OSI model is incredibly helpful and people will just throw layers at you, especially the people who have been in the field for quite some time might just say layer two instead of a switch, or they might say layer three instead of a router. So I'm going to discuss the OSI model really quickly give you a mnemonic on how to remember it and just talk about some of the concepts within it and how to troubleshoot down it as well. So I picked this up from Keith Barker a long time ago. Great trainer, by the way. And this is the mnemonic. So we're going to go P D N T S P A. And this stands in my head for please do not throw sausage pizza away. Again, that is, please do not throw sausage pizza away. So I'm going to put numbers corresponding to the layers in front of it here. And we're going to go ahead and type these out one by one. So on the first layer here, we've got what is called the physical layer. And you could think of your physical layer as like data cables or like your cat six cables. Stuff like that, something you might you might plug in, right? That is the physical layer. And we've already talked about layer two quite a bit. Layer two is the data layer, and that is our switching, right? And also our MAC addresses. Going down the list, we've got the network layer, which is IP addresses. Also routing. The fourth layer is the transport layer, which is TCP UDP, which we have talked about as well. And the last few. So the session layer, we've got the session layer, which is just session management. You don't really have to worry too much about this one. Uh, six is the presentation layer. Now this should be familiar to you because think about WMV, JPEG, movie files. That's what your presentation layer is. So media. And then lastly, we've got the application layer, which is like HTTP, SMTP, your applications that you utilize, right? So we've got this laid out here and you might be asking, why is this important? Well, again, when we say something like my home router is a layer two, three. Uh, so that means it does, it does switching and it does routing, right? Uh, you might think of this in another way as well. You might be asked to troubleshoot and something to talk about too with the, with the OSI model is when we receive data, we receive data down this physical layer all the way down to the application. When we transmit data, it goes out the application layer down to the physical. When we're troubleshooting this, it is always best to start with the physical and go down to the application level. Okay. So, Say you get a your working help desk and you get a phone call and somebody says, you know, my internet's not working, help me. Well, what's the first thing you're gonna do? Are you gonna ask them application level questions? Yeah, probably not. You might say, hey, can you look at the back of the computer? Do you see a uh, the cable plugged in? Oh, the cable's plugged in. Okay, well, uh, do you do you see the the where the cable's plugged in? Is there a blinking light? Is that blinking light green by chance? Okay, we're checking the NIC, right? And then we might ask them to, you know, do they have an IP address? What's going on? Uh, all the way down. And then we troubleshoot all the way down to layer seven. So we wouldn't start on layer seven, right? We would start from the basics and move down. So it's important to know this. This isn't a help desk course by any means, but it's, it's super important to know this, especially if it's been a while since you've seen this network stuff, or even if this is new to you, that the OSI model is commonly referred to even as a pen tester, I get all kinds of layer two, layer three talk, and you will be sitting in meetings with network engineers, with people who are very, very smart about this stuff, and they're gonna throw all this lingo at you. So if you know this lingo, really, really benefits you, or else you're just gonna sit there 
and wonder what the heck they're talking about. So hopefully this is a quick informative method for you. And again, remember, please do not throw sausage pizza away. That's the easiest way that I remember it. You can make up your own mnemonics if you want. People have other things as well. If you've got a if you got a favorite mnemonic, please feel free to comment down below and, and tell me your mnemonic as well. So I'd love to hear some of these other ones. So let's go ahead and move on into subnetting and then we'll uh, we'll start moving into other fun parts of the course.